ionization constant of water. Water is a very unique molecule because it can act as an acid as well as a base. It can give H plus ion, it can accept H plus ion, so it can act as, a, as acid as well as a base. What is interesting to note about water is, so being a universal solvent, is, it is the one which is actually most widely used and we almost put, we can put anything into it and it is able to accept almost anything and it forms a solution. But what is interesting to note about water is that it shows a very special phenomenon which is called the self-dissociation or self-ionization, which means the water molecules on their own, they also dissociate. Now we know water is having H and OH, so how it will dissociate? Yes, it dissociates to give H plus ions and OH ions. And these H plus ions and OH minus ions are given out on their own, which is called self-ionization. It can be expressed as if this one water molecule combines with the other, it can form this kind of ions. You know, this, this water molecule is giving H plus to this. So this is acting as an acid. This is accepting H plus ion. So this is acting as a base. This gets converted into hydronium ion. This gets converted into OH minus ions. And when they are coming back, they will combine with each other. This will give, so it will be acting as a conjugate acid. This will be acting as a conjugate base. Now, can we find out the dissociation constant or equilibrium constant for this one? Yes. If we write it like this, we can have hydronium ions concentration, hydroxyl ions concentration, and water's concentration square. Since the concentration of water is not going to change, being, it, being the solvent, this can be incorporated into this equilibrium constant. And on doing so, what we get is, this becomes Kw. This Kw is called ionic product of water, which you can easily make out that ionic product of water means it is the product of the concentration of the ions which are given out by the water. And what all the ions that the water gives is, it is the H plus and the OH minus ions. So this KW is basically is the product of H3O plus ion and OH minus ions. And this is the expression of the KW. Now this KW which is also, I have, as I have told you, is called ionic product of water, is having a constant value at room temperature, which is 298 Kelvin. The value of this Kw is 10 to the power minus 14 at 298 Kelvin. And it varies with temperature as the other normal other equilibrium constants value because being the value of the equilibrium constant, it will only depend on the temperature. And since we know it is going to, it will, uh, the dissociation of the water will increase with the temperature, the value of this also gets increased. And with the decrease in the temperature, the dissociation of the water will decrease. So the value of this ionic product of water will also will decrease. So it is the, it is the value which will only will vary with the temperature. And it is Kw is equal to 10 to the power minus 14. This value is very important. It should be remembered always. And we also know since from one mole of water, one mole of H plus ion and one mole of OH minus, ion, minus ions are generated. So the concentration of these two ions in the water will always be same. So we can use this to find out that therefore concentration of OH minus ions in the water will be 10 to the power minus 7 molar and the concentration of H3O plus ion will also be 10 to the power minus, three, minus 7 molar. How we have got these values? It's very obvious since these concentration of these two ions are same, 
we can put the values like this. We can have, we know that kW is equal to H3O plus OH minus 10 to the power minus 14. We can put H3O plus into H3O plus S10 to the power minus 14 because we know the concentration of these two are same. So what we get is it becomes a square. Therefore, the concentration of H3O plus will come out to be 10 to the power minus 7. So this is how we can have the concentration of basically the H plus ion or the hydronium ion or the OH minus ions in the case of pure water. And as these values suggest, it means what if we take if we take one liter of pure water at 298 Kelvin, it is going to have this much of OH minus ions and this much of H plus ions. So already the water which we drink, which we take, which is regarded as a pure water, will be having very, very small, these values are very small, very, very small values of or concentrations of H plus and OH minus ions, which are this much, 10 to the power minus 7, and their product is called any product of water, KW, which is always is 10 to the power minus 14.